Is the microphone working? Is there anybody out there? Do I sound okay? Am I getting through to anybody? Jesus God! Okay, good. Everything's falling into place. Wait a minute, I'm getting mixed signals here. Are you saying yes? Like 20 times? Is that supposed to mean we're good? Oh my god, I... I I just want you all to know that I look horrendous. So it's going to be that kind of a cast. Let's just start it, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Pfft. It just stops. Oh my god, hello! Welcome to the broadcast, everybody! I am your host, Man! There we go. And it's Man vs. Game. Hello! Whoa, Reaper! Wow. It's a lot of letters around your name. Reaper, welcome back. Thank you very much for the continued support. Uh, how's everybody doing? It's Saturday. I probably should have shaved. Probably should have wore a, a different shirt. <laughs> Adorbs! Oh, good. I'm okay. I'm I'm being reassured that I'm adorable. Wonderful. That's not the look I was going for. Lupanix, thank you for the 46 months. Welcome back. How are y'all doing? How am I doing? Do you like what you see? Oh my God! Look out for the cable. I feel so irrelevant now, and that's because I am. <laughs> I helped, I helped usher this shit in, and then now I'm just like, well, trash. I'm thinking of, uh, I, I'm going to attend this seminar coming up. Amazing Prophecies. Revelation symbols hold the key to your future. The Final Events Prophecy Seminar. It's going on this April 1st. Oh, never mind. This shit right here, man. People say I'm childish. Because I play video games on the internet for a living. And there are people out there who actually attend shit like this. Scary. 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 Uh, hi, AFK! How are you doing? Uh, hello, everybody. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welsh boy. Welsh boy 42. 42. Gotta get my cool, my cool uh, foot pedal over here. Welcome to, Welcome mankind, to mankind, mankind, also Swole Games! Welcome to Mankind! Welcome to mankind. Welcome to mankind. Welcome to mankind. Thank you all so very much for joining me uh, for what is basically going to be, hopefully, a chill cast. I don't know how chill it's going to end up being, but uh, I'm going to drink some, some adult beverages. I'm going to be drinking some Red's Apple Ale. A.A. Uh, and Welsh boy, get your ass in this man cave. And who all did I miss? Uh, I had to close down my my Twitch alerts dashboard. There it is. Um, Doctor, uh, hold on, Germ Chen, Doctor Neptune thirteen, Big Buds zero, uh, Lyrical Danny Chan, MV Mead, Spring Farts. Just welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, literally everybody. Uh. 
does it really, does it really sound good? Does, does it sound okay? Does it, does it look okay? And I mean, be really critical here. I, I, I can take it. Uh, slobber butt. Hello, welcome back. Thank you for the three months now. Uh, Reds is good. You like the strawberry one? Yeah, I like it okay. Um, so I've been away for a while, and uh, uh, I've mostly been playing Dark Souls three. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Grim Warrior thirty three, welcome back. Thank you very much for that support. Um, do I look fine? Okay. Not like my face. I just mean like the, the visual, like the fidelity. Like how does, you know, is everything like bit choppy, pixelated, anything like that? Uh, any artifacting going on? Okay. Uh, I'm actually on NG++ on my PC playthrough of Dark Souls 3, but that, I mean, I just want to apologize. I just want to apologize because, uh... Things just things just didn't turn out like how I'd hoped. I guess I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, dilapidated unit. Welcome to mankind. Thank you for that support. Um, he looks like a Greek god. Yeah. <laughs> I want I want to show you guys. Hold on, my shirt is. It's like this is probably one of the last times that I'll be able to wear this shirt, whether on the on the stream or. Or otherwise, I... It's falling apart. You can't see it, but there are... There's some holes there. That's that's how, that's my chest right there. My little white spot. Uh, but yeah! Dark Souls 3... Just with the weird... It's not, it's not even, like... The, the release has not even been that weird. I want to say that right now. Hold on. Not so slick! Welcome to mankind! Thank you very much. Uh, I, uh... <sighs> the release has not been that weird. It's just that, uh... It's, you know, Dark Souls 3 is getting... I think far more attention than any Souls game has thus far. Uh... And, uh... Because I believe with each Souls game that's been released, uh... The Japanese version has always been released earlier. Um, it's just, and you know nobody really cared or you noticed before because it just wasn't you know that highly anticipated uh, of a game. Uh, but uh, you know, so I, you know, I, I had this big plan to do a you know a, a full playthrough of the Japanese of the game in Japanese, and. Um, I will say that I felt like that was just kind of like sidelined for me, uh, with the with Namco basically flooding Twitch that day with uh, English PC version releases, you know, in glorious 60 frames. Um, so I just I just lost any motivation to to play the game, you know, in Japanese, stream the, stream the game in Japanese, and. Um, and then, you know, as I was playing, because you know, now, yes, tonight I'm going to be playing um, Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One, uh, which apparently they've updated it so that now it's it's like 1.01, so that now you it's 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 at its like regular actual difficulty. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check. Um, it's just been weird. It's just so weird. Now Namco is is requesting streamers to not stream the PC version at all, and but meanwhile this Xbox One version where you can you can purchase the game on the Japanese uh, Xbox One store or whatever the fuck they're calling it, and then if you switch your region on Xbox One, the game will play in English. It's it's actually translated, ready to go. It's just so fucking weird. It really is weird, I guess. Um, so, I'm just... I just, at a certain point, uh, I started getting some spoilers coming through, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck this shit! I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna play this game. I, I want to experience this game. This is uh, most likely, it's very, very likely that this is probably the, the, the last 
Dark Souls game uh, that From Software will possibly ever release. There, there's been statements made, but they all seem to lean, you know, of varying degrees of uh, steadfastness <laughs> on uh, whether this is the final Dark Souls game. Um, so, I just said to myself at one point, I was like, I, I just want to experience this game uh, without any spoilers. I want to be able to uh, explore, feel that, you know, glorious feeling of, uh, you know, discovery. Um, and so I did. And that's pretty much what I've been doing this whole week. Uh, just playing a lot of Dark Souls 3. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't really, uh, let's see, am I too loud? Fuck, it is, it is like too loud now. What the fuck? Hold on. I was, yeah, because it does, it's, it's peaking. It's peaking! Come on! Weird. I can never find a, a happy medium there. Um, can we get back to ball, into ball questions? Sure, yeah, we can talk about scrote bags and testy satchels as much as you want. It's an interesting subject. Uh, anyway. The game is phenomenal. Oh god, hold on. Slim of the gyms. Welcome to mankind! Thank you very much for the support. Slim of the gyms. So, Dark Souls 3 is fantastic. It is, uh... <clears throat> it's beautiful. It's a, it's a wonderful game. What's, what's so weird is that having just basically played it, like, all week long, um... I, should, I wouldn't say that I'm, like, burnt out on it or anything, but, uh... I'm not. I, I. What's so great is that I. I'm gonna be able to play it, and not worry about spoilers. There are certainly still things in the game that uh, I didn't discover or you know experience. But I'm okay at this point. Like I've experienced enough of the game that uh, you know I'm. I'm not gonna feel cheated or anything. Uh, you know, if anything is spoiled for me. Um. But uh, what I want to say first and foremost this is just like top notch again in Dark Souls Three. Definitely compared to Dark Souls 2 is the the level design, like the three the three dimensional level design in Dark Souls 3 is second to none. It is it is a staggering work of genius. How they have uh, designed uh, the world that you explore in uh, uh, Dark Souls 3. Uh. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, it's a weird time in my life right now. I, I've obviously got, you know, personal issues still going on, and I'm wrestling with those demons, wrestling with the uh, fears of, uh, you know, becoming irrelevant, and, uh, you know, people leaving me in the dust and all this. And uh, so, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm looking to do here tonight. It's basically, just have fun. As I continue my Xbox One playthrough of Dark Souls 3. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Like, I, I, I've i never felt so much, like, you know, that I'm just not in where I want to be in life. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Ah. Um. No, I haven't checked out Final Fantasy 15. I gotta tell you, I I just I stopped caring at all about Final Fantasy after about seven. They just got too Japanesey. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what happened. I my I think my taste in games changed. <clears throat> basically, I think what happened for me is I. I enjoyed uh, playing through Final Fantasy VI. Um, that game blew my mind, and I think I think what I what I think worked for me with Final Fantasy VI was that I still had to bring like a lot of the story and the characters 
uh, took place in my imagination. You see, because it was all like sprites and uh, <clears throat> the dialogue. There was no, uh, you know, voice acting or anything like that. Um, and so I was still able to sort of, you know, make the characters my own in a way because I was, you know, reading the dialogue the way I would read it. Um, and I think. I don't know, just as games, uh, just as the technology improved and, you know, they added voice acting and the characters, d you know, the visually took a more, uh, you know, definite shape. Um, I just see, I just tended to like JRPGs less and less. Usually because I can't stand the fucking characters in them. Like, I can't stand uh, the, the protagonists. So many Final Fantasy games, not Final Fantasy games, but just like JRPGs in general. It's like they almost want you to hate the protagonist. Like they just make the protagonist as dumb and annoying as possible. What? Whoa! What? What are you doing? Billionaire! <laughs> Billionaire! What are you doing? Well, here's to the eventual chargeback. Uh, thank you very much. I kid. I kid. How shitty of me to say that. Somebody just, somebody just, like, billionaire just sent what looks like $600. So you, you basically purchased the Xbox One and then some that I'll be playing the game on tonight, which I swear I'm going to, I'm going to get to, but here's to you, billionaire. Watching the stream all the way over there in Dubai. Um, thank you very much. The message just says, "Stay relevant." Here's ten years of sub money. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, now I really have to put on a good show. Okay, now I got to put on a good show. Okay, before I was just kind of I was gonna phone it in tonight, just kind of get back into the swing of things. But now, hold on. Wait. Okay, let's get serious. Let's put on uh, an entertaining broadcast for the, the, the beautiful people all around the world. Hanging out with me here on this Saturday night. I don't know what to say about that. Le Prince Jean? <laughs> Le Prince Jean? Or is it uh, Le Prince Jean? Thank you for the $10. It says, hi from Quebec City. You look top shape! Have a great night! Signed, Jeff, a soldier of misfortune. <laughs> I should have shaved. I'm straight... I, I'm, I'm straving. I'm shaving with a straight razor now, again. I used to not do that, because I used to suffer from horrendous acne. Uh, during the most, you know, the formative years of my life, which... There, there's a reason I'm so emo, okay? There's a lot of reasons for for how emo, emo I am. One of them was yes, when when I was in uh, junior high, high school, uh, I just got just terrible acne, and I I felt very uh, embarrassed about it. I don't know. See, I can't think of the word. God, this is not a work. This is not worth six hundred dollars for sure. But uh, I can I can assure you this. I will eventually pay back the $600 uh, tip. I saw an article written the other day about you know, the semantics of, you know, whether they're donations or tips or whatever. I just I don't really care. I just it, It's a transaction that happens. Somebody out there in the, in the world chose to send money to me. That's the bottom line. So thank you again, billionaire. Uh, I hope you are a billionaire for sure. Um, thank you so very much. Um, Jastly just shaved an hour ago. Straight razor shave. It is. It's great. I used to not. I used to, for so long. I just used like a, you know, like a beard trimmer. Um, you still have shit to your acne, and I'm a college junior. I don't even remember when it went away. It was just one of those things where I just learned to deal with it, and then one summer it just kind of cleared up, and because I, you know, I would have good days and bad days. Uh. You know, I just remember the day where I realized I was like, I haven't really been getting zits for, you know, a while now. Like this is, I made it, I survived the acne. Um, anyway, 
So, I'm, sh I'm shaving with a straight razor again. It does feel great. It's fun. And uh, it's, it's one of those old-timey ones, like an actual straight razor, like one blade, like just a razor blade that I put into the thing, screw it in. Uh, I like it. I, I, am, I am a fucking hipster, for reals. Uh, I, I just like it. I like that there's one blade. I can replace the razor blade. Uh, and it's just not a bunch of like disposable plastic pieces of shit. Um, I don't know. Sircon, it did show. Sircon, welcome to mankind. Sorry, I missed the alert. I was busy blathering on about my hygiene and all that shit. Anyway, I need to get drunk. Okay, I need to get drunk. I'm not. I'm not just gonna, you know, have a good time tonight. I want to get fucking plastered. I want this broadcast to get shut down. All right. Uh, Demonic Skeletron, welcome back. Well, let's just get into it. So, we... Uh, my controller needs an update. God, just kill me now. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? Your controller needs an update. An update is available for a recently connected Xbox One controller. Would you like to update? What do you mean a controller needs an update? Jesus God, just take me back. Just give me this controller. This one right here. The one that just plugs into the goddamn console. And then you just play the game. Dear Lord. Yes, update the controller. Give me, this is why we're drinking. Let's get ready to update the controller. This is why I'm irrelevant now. Because this kind of shit... Uh... It's weird to me. Snoozeberries! You've already got some Man vs. Game swag. Thank you so very much for that support. How are you doing? Uh... <clears throat> Talk about the controller. I'm looking at the joystick. Oh, 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 oh. I get it. Because I'm from the Atari era myself. Anyway, <laughs> let's get ready, gang! Alright, walk me through it, Microsoft. Micro dick. Connect your controller to your Xbox with a USB cable. Done. Keep any attached devices connected to the controller. Okay. Here we go. Updating controller. Uh, uh, <clears throat> hopefully the... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> You're in Texas! Hold on! Wow, man. All I can say is thank you so very much. This is kind of crazy. This is definitely this is like the craziest uh, level of support I think I've I've ever received at this point now. Um, billionaire, according to my alerts, which this I mean, please forgive me for getting skeptical. Um, normally you don't see disheveled, haggard dudes like myself getting these kinds of uh, tips. On Twitch. Billionaire sent another six hundred dollars. That's twelve hundred dollars. It's one thousand two hundred dollars, which uh um <clears throat> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so very much. I just uh there are no words. Uh, billionaire, let's, let's, let's read this message from Billionaire, the second message. Billionaire says, you don't owe me a thing. <laughs> says, you've done enough. <laughs> you've done enough. No, no, you've done enough, man. No, 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 we're fine. No, no, you just... Don't don't call us, we'll call you. No, you're fine, you're fine. No, just sit down before you fall down. Um, says, you don't owe me a thing. You've done enough. And it's Texas, not Dubai. I know, I always, my mind always goes to Dubai. Uh, if my new software continues to bank, that's, I'm so happy for you, then I'll give you a thousand years of some money for shits. Uh, anyway, back to lurking. Oh my god, enjoy your lurk. I hope your software continues making bank uh, myself. Not, not, I want to assure you, not for the selfish, you know, hope that you'll come back and keep. 
throwing dollar bills down on my butt cheeks. Uh, but uh, that's... I don't know what to say, man. Thank you so much. And uh, all I want to say is, you know... If if I you know if I can help get word out about your software, uh, uh, please I'm here. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I can do that for you. It's like the least I can do. No, um, I'll just try and put on a good old entertaining show. So thank you very much, uh, Sir Con. Thanks for the six dollars. Says that feel when not <laughs> that feel when not six hundred, but only six. Feels bad, man. Cheers and have a good one. Cheers to you. You know what? Cheers. It's really. Well, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, the size doesn't matter. Because we all know that. It's just a blatant lie. Uh, but it, all support is appreciated. You know what I think I appreciate most, Billionaire? Is that you said you don't owe me a thing. I uh, made the mistake of, of bandying wits with uh, some randos out on Twitter today. Here's, here's just a good rule of thumb. If you find yourself engaging with somebody on Twitter who has a fucking egg for an avatar or the, the for uh, the profile pic, don't bother. There's a reason they have a fucking egg on their Twitter account. It's because they're they're just shit posters. It's because they just get on Twitter, just start running their mouth off about some you know, bullshit thing. Just don't bother. Just block and move on, mute and move on, just move on and move on. Just move on. It's not worth your time. Uh, but yeah, today I uh, just got into it with some guy who's just like, I love it when these fucking people feign concern about m me and my career. It's like, you, you don't give a fuck, you don't give a shit. You're bitching to me on Twitter that I'm not streaming because you're an entitled prick who just wants free entertainment oh my god that felt good to get out so I just it's you know I just want to say thank you again to billionaire for that unbelievable support but then even more importantly than that saying in the message you don't owe me a thing I really appreciate that I mean I just, I because believe me I do feel like I owe people thing you know things Absolutely, it's, that's the thing. It's like one of the things I've been thinking, thinking about this week is, you know, you can't go back, but then you also can't spend the rest of your life just sitting there in agony, regretting all the goddamn mistakes that you've made throughout your life. At a certain point, you just have to say, "I gotta move on." I gotta just say, "I'm an idiot, and I am prone to do stupid things." Uh, but you know, I just I have to look look forward, stop looking back so much. Um, but yeah, so I mean, just uh, again, just to put it out there. Um, if anybody is ever displeased with my uh, performance, if you're dissatisfied with my uh, service, then by all means, stop subscribing. Don't support me at all. It's it's that simple. Please, for the love of God, don't get on Twitter. Come bitching to me about or it, it wasn't even like bitching. It's like, that's what I love. Is it, this this fake, phony fucking concern about my career? As this person kept referring to it as, fuck you, God, act like you're fucking concerned. I'm just I'm just so concerned that you're just you're throwing away your career. It's like well well you know like that's what I wanted to do. That's because I enjoy letting people down. I enjoy not streaming. Uh, unbelievable. If you're watching, and I know you are, I know this person's watching because they've been fucking blue balling, waiting for this stream like all week. He was driving this person crazy, even though they themselves said they don't subscribe to me. It doesn't even matter. That's what it's all about. But it's like Jesus Christ, the gall of this guy to fucking. I went back. The thing usually, I just I I want to say. I have come a long way. Um, usually, you know, I will just read stupid tweets, usually with like an egg avatar. Seriously, look for the egg. If somebody's saying some stupid shit and they have an egg, 
profile pic. Just disregard it. They are a complete waste of time. Um, but no, I, I just I felt compelled again to respond to this guy because uh, had like three, four, five, six, you know, tweets uh, at varying times of you know all to me, all bitching about me not streaming. I'm just oh man, so I just felt like I had to give this guy peace in my mind. Now I'm over it, I guess. Um, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, let me welcome some people here. Uh, let's get gimmicky. Soul, Soul Slicer 808! Electric Angel. Electric Angel. Electric Angel. Electric Angel. Electric Angel. And laugh and, and stream. Laugh and stream. Welcome. 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 Welcome to mankind. 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 <laughs> Controller is uh, updated. We made it. And that was, that was it for the music. By the way, that's Home. Who... I just started listening to a while ago. I love him. Proper artist, welcome back. Thank you for the 47 months. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Neptune. I actually subscribed to request that you uh, stream less, sir. <laughs> Dr. Huge, huge asshole. asshole. Welcome, welcome to Mankind. Welcome to mankind. Thank you so much, Doc. Jasshole. Uh, Project X, welcome back. Thank you, everybody. As you can see, we have the wonderful Twitch alerts back up and running. So, I did play through the whole game. Dark Souls 3. So, I'm not too worried about spoilers at all. We can have all kinds of spoilers. I'm not too worried about it. I feel like this is a... I don't think it's a changing point. I, I definitely... What I want to do, I want to get back to playing different games. It's been Souls for too long. And, uh, I do feel... I feel good on the Souls, uh, experience. I know I do need to get back to the Dark Souls 2 Soul Level 1 run. I won't let that just hang out there. Uh, I don't know when... Maybe, uh, I think this week, because I... Uh, uh, my plan now with Dark Souls 3 is to finish uh, this playthrough. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's get let's get dangerous. Your face is my face. <laughs> what a strangely uplifting uh, username. We're all in this together. Can I get my controller, please? I'm gonna keep dagging. I'm not gonna start over again, even though I am absolutely fighting the urge to start over. Oh. We're loading. Loading up. Hambino. Welcome back. Oh, for fuck's sake. There it is. <laughs> Jay Griff, welcome back. So. Oh my god! Airblade 101! Thank you for the five bucks! Hold on. Man, I love interacting and being... Because this is... Seriously, this is, this is the only interaction I get now. It's not even a... It's not even a joke. All week long, it's just been like me... Uh... Talking to no one. Jesus. <laughs> talking to Jesus! Uh, so this is how I socialize now. This is... This is my socializing. So this feels good. For me. It's cathartic. Um, damn, Airblade101, thank you for the $5. Just, hey man, thanks for everything you do. You're an awesome dude and an awesome streamer. Love watching your streams and all that nonsense. Thank you very much. I promise I wasn't digging for the compliments or anything, but, uh, I get, I get, I get upset. <laughs> I, get, I get my, my balls in a bunch. Uh, Derherkin, thanks for the 10 bucks. It says, fuck all the noise and hate. Just keep being man. I, it's, that's all I can really do, right? That's all I can ever really be is myself. Which is strangely reassuring. No matter what. You don't even have to try. You're always going to be yourself. Um, hold on. James, James and 20, and welcome, 20 to welcome to Mankind! mankind. Pinkzer, welcome, welcome to Mankind! mankind. Uh, oh my god, this, this soundtrack... Uh, dilapidated. I don't know. Let's see here. 
It's not showing up. No. I am not seeing a tip. Uh, dilapidated Unix. Oh my god. Com what is this? Camaron. Camaron Geo? Camaron Geo. Sorry. Uh, thank you for the $6 out. Says Lurker for two years here. Uh, I think I can speak for everyone when I say you make all of our days better. I know it can be hard to see, uh, but you're really an amazing person. Uh, you have helped with my insomnia so many nights. I love uh, it's such a strange compliment. It's like, you put me to sleep so quickly. Uh, I want to say your broadcast is so dull. It's so boring. Thank you for being such a bore that I can sleep soundly every night. Uh, better than, you know, kick in the face. Says, and then it finishes, we all love you. Thank you very much. I do feel the love. I just It's its the shitty emo person in me that's just drawn to the darkness. It's like a whole room, like 100 people in a room, 99 of them just professing their love and, and adoration for me, and like the one fucking asshole, that's the person I'm going to zero in on every single time. Ah, anyway. Let's, let's press the any button. Try and actually play a video game. Uh, Soul Slicer 808. Thank you for the uh, ten dollars. Says, well, if we're socializing, here's a beer on me. Thank you. I will definitely. Yes, this is me. Man versus Japan. Begin play with this profile. Yes, this is very important to me. Um, Zohas. Nobody fucks with this Zohas. Oh my god. Okay, so this it's it's updated. This is great. Oh, man. Uh, where's the version? I want to see what version I'm on. Oh. Uh, oh, there's no online. That's right. There's no online capability yet. So, let's just cancel. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. Um, Zohas, thanks for the five bucks. Says, wow, I was planning on sleeping tonight. Guess I know what I'm going to be doing for the next ten hours. Who knows? Who knows how long it's going to go. So, we're going to be in offline mode. It is 1.1. Nice. I think that means that the difficulty is at the uh, the normal difficulty. Just turn this down. I do. I always want everything to be as loud as possible. Um, let me just read these messages. They're just piling in because I have successfully guilted people into sending money. Uh, <laughs> uh Chris. JPD, thank you for the five bucks. Says, it ain't 1200! Just wanted to say, though, and I'm sure many will agree, you're always entertaining and screw that egg face Twitter douche! We don't subscribe to a gosh darn schedule! We subscribe to the man. Thank you very much. That's all I can ever say. It's uh, My approach has been very simple. Uh, you know, I could I could be... I could absolutely... <laughs> there's Grandma Wild! Um... Grandma, do you have any more of that Granny's peach tea? I thought that was quite tasty. Um, there's Dagon. Oh, he's looking good. Level 33. Um, there's just too much shit going on. It's just too much shit going on. Um, yes, there we go. Thank you again, J uh, Chris, for the for the five dollars. AP Brisk, thank you for the five dollars. Says love your stream and love your enthusiasm in every one. Keep up the good work. I shall with that support. Uh, Reaper one eight seven, thanks for the twenty bucks. Thank you for your awesome content and your endless entertaining streams. Thanks for the uh, thanks for being awesome, man. Thank you, uh, Grandma Wild. Thanks for the twenty bucks. Says have some boxed wine, courtesy of DP. Oh, is that what's going on over there? How's his Dark Souls run going? Good old sour Kool Aid show. I don't talk to my friends enough. I don't, I don't talk to anybody. It's not its not even a, a, an exaggeration or anything. Um, let's, just, let's just get it out of our systems here, guys. It has been a while. <laughs> this is part of like why I, I, get, I get frustrated with uh, the format sometimes. Because I, in my head, I always imagine that I'm trying to do like, uh, you know, The Tonight Show or something. Um, 
And so then, you know, as it, uh, you know, the, 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 the alerts keep coming through and my, my train of thought derails for like the thousandth time. Um, it just, my, I, get, I get frustrated. It's just too much. All these Dark Souls 3 streams got nothing on Dan Paul's Dark Souls playthrough. I completely agree. Completely agree. Um, watching somebody struggle through a game is the best because the struggle is what is so entertaining. Um, oh, uh, Unt, Unt, Lurker. Welcome to Mankind. And Cinderella Den, thanks for the $15, says successfully guilted. I, I, I first read that is successfully gilded. Ow. Hon Suzu, welcome back. We're going to start once everyone calms the fuck down. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so very much. I, I just... I've completely run out of ways to, you know, make thanking you all for the support uh, new and fresh and exciting. <clears throat> so, just the same old boring shit every time. We're just going to plow through it one more time. Uh... Anonymous, thanks for the five dollars. Says shit happens in real life. It does. I had to retweet that uh, Hunter S. Thompson quote again. Um, life is strange. Some guys get rich, while others eat shit and die. Uh, anyway, shit happens in real life. The last few years have been rough, but watching you and a couple more Twitch streamers help make me uh, uh, take small escapes. One massive upturn in life happened on Friday. I took and passed the driver road test for UPS. Nice! Congratulations! I see, and those are those those moments. Like those those are. Uh, I'm looking forward to 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 transitioning out of this 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 period in my life. Uh, it's, it's been, it, it, has, it has been rough. It, it has definitely been rough. Uh, and so I'm just I'm looking forward to getting back to you know loving what I do and uh, pushing forward so thank you all for for not giving up on me and uh, you know and for being around I absolutely appreciate it um, let's play this goddamn game uh, my murderer uh, thanks for the five dollars says Dark Souls 3 new game uh, and that's it uh, well I mean, I, I'm going to continue on with Dagon. Because there's just no reason to start over. The, my Dark Souls 3 cast have been... I just fucked him up, okay? And so, yes, on the English release day, I do still plan on doing a full uh, playthrough of Dark Souls 3 on PC, 60 frames per second. Uh, and that's when I will shoot for my Victor uh, Paladin Faith build. Um, Dagon is, he's just a, well, he's a warrior, and, um, that's, that was weird. That was weird how it took me back to the title screen for a moment. Uh, you gave flowers to a girl yesterday. This is Guto. Now I just want to relax and enjoy some Dark Souls 3 because relationships are complicated. That's why I'm never going to be in another relationship. Oh my god! Wow, after playing this game in 60 frames all week, uh, the 30 frames, it, it actually hurts my eyes. It actually hurts. So Dagon, he's looking good. Oh, that's right, we went with the Northerner, the, the, or not, the, the warrior, the actual, the warrior class. Uh, hold on. Where's my, not, not that shit. Not this time. There it is, uh, <laughs> it. Dagon. I thought there was a card where they showed what you started as. Well, never mind. Uh, Mrs. Violence. What's going on? Stuck with me at least, at least until October. Anyway, so yes, that'll be happening. So this is just me dicking around, basically. I just, I just wanted to cast to just get back on the horse. Hopefully have some fun. So let's, 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 let's get to it. Yeah, we're going to get spoily, and you know what? I don't really care. I don't care about uh, spoilers or a lot of that stuff right now. 
I don't even really know where I should be going at this moment. I'm just not real connected with this Xbox One playthrough of Dark Souls 3. There's a very good chance that uh, <clears throat> I'm never going to touch my Xbox One again once you know I can play the PC version of Dark Souls 3 on this cast. The Crystal Sage. That's where we're going. To the Crucifix Forest. I believe that's what it's called. Um, get back on that pointy corn! Yeah, speaking of which... Oh, God. I'll finish the Dark Souls 1 Soul Level 1 run. At some point in time. <clears throat> Timya! Happy anniversary! Thanks for all that support. Death Mints, welcome back. Um, yeah. I, I, I want to you know, finish up the Souls games. Some, some tasks that I have. Uh, my Bloodborne Blood Level 4 run will have to wait. The Road of Sacrifices. Alright, let's head down that lonesome road. I'm not gonna throw away my Xbox One. <clears throat> and I know that I'm really big in the corner. I like, I just, I... Do I want to shrink down a little bit? Because I know I'm covering up the, the shit. You know, people like to see s flasks and all of that. <clears throat> what if I just scooched over a tad? Something like that. Oh, sack! Sack! That's male sack! Sack 9321. Welcome to mankind! Nice sack. Did you guys see that? Glorious, glowing sack. Thanks for the five bucks, Orias. Says, man, are you a PC gamer or a console gamer? What a gross question, honestly. This is just a gross question. Um, it's a very divisive question. Uh, uh, J. Mart's like, you know what? Let's just let's just not do that. I think I'm over the whole fucking sound effect thing. It's, I gotta tell you. Seeing so many channels now and so many casters doing these kind of things, it makes me want to do it less. <laughs> it really does. I used to really like get into it, like yeah, to do the whole thing, and like now it just it's like it just it feels like uh, phoned in and off putting. It, just, it feels like uh, especially when I see like another channel with like you know a, a particularly bad. Theme or a particularly bad gimmick, you know, where you're just like, ooh, I don't know, I don't, I wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> it's so, it like, it makes me want to do it less and just stick to like, you know, talking about interesting topics, uh, you know, connecting, playing games, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I just don't, I don't believe my own hype anymore. Look at this motherfucker. Man, I whiffed it. Big whiffa. Holy shit. But you know what? That's just me being insecure and feeling shitty about what I do right now. I'm trying really hard not to be, uh, oh my god, billionaire. What are you doing? <laughs> I want to know what the software is! It's gotta be some, it's gotta be like, some kind of like, component that works with Pornhub or something. Uh... <laughs> Billionaire, what are you doing? <laughs> That's two thousand dollars. Don't you see what you're doing? You're making people hate me. Like my family. They can't believe that people will sit and watch and support a guy sitting here playing video games. I don't even think my father still knows what I do at all. I don't think he has I think he I think my, my father thinks that I develop games. I don't know. I don't talk to my father. Um, billionaire just sent eight hundred dollars. That's eight hundred dollars after sending two other six hundred dollar donations. Numbers all together. That's two thousand dollars. And uh, yeah, this is like uh, this is normally the kind of donations reserved for other streamers, uh, not me. I just want to say. Thank you so much again, billionaire, <laughs> down there in Texas. Everything is really big, bigger down there in Texas. Uh, 
The donations for sure. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not a donation. It is not. I, this is not some charity. I'm not some charity case. Okay. Anyway, uh, billionaire thanks for the eight hundred dollars. Says sorry, one thousand two hundred dollars irks me. Not a flat number. And this is for off stream. That's amazing. I just want to say, uh, I am I am just so glad that uh, that you enjoy my broadcast enough to to uh, to support me like this. Uh, yeah, please, just you know, forevermore, from this point forward till you know we both shuffle off this mortal coil. Just please. Enjoy man versus game, knowing that you are a cornerstone of uh, <laughs> of the whole damn thing. Um, wow, thank you very much, billionaire. You are the man. That's right. Um, there's, there's, there's. I'll never be able to say anything that, that will adequ adequately, you know convey how much I appreciate that. Um, please, you know, if there's any... If there's anything I can do, like, uh, if you ever need anything, please consider contacting me. Like, that's... I mean, that's the kind of support where it's just like... Yeah, no, I, I will take requests from Billionaire. Yes, you out there. Please, what do you want? I'll tap dance, shuffle, sing a song. <laughs> I will be your monkey boy. Uh, which I know this is exactly what Billionaire does not want to hear. He's like, no! You're not supposed to crumble! Anyway, um. Let's take a drink. Let's take a swig. Oh my god, the edible anus! I'm never gonna play video games again. Because. People adore me so much. Cause they just yeah. Hold on, let me kill this. Uh, this feels so much better playing on the the actual difficulty. Oh God! Get away from him, her. I think it's a him, actually. Oh shit! Ooh. Hold on, we're gonna. So, if you follow me on Twitter, which you should, if you're not, follow me on Twitter. It's man versus game. It's man vs game, not man v game. Not man verse game. Who was called me man verse game the other night? I don't know. Um. Uh. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I have received some. Uh, uh, well, an edible anus. I have an edible anus sitting right here. Here. Let me take a look at this edible anus. This is from Rowan. Rowan, are you here? I hope to Christ that you're still here. I'm sure you're just like you. You saw me like starting up the game. You're just like he's gonna forget about the. the he's gonna forget about my anus. Man's gonna forget about my anus again. Uh, hold on. Just, just give me a moment, for pity's sake. Uh. I gotta see what this anus is all about. Also, people are like sending crazy fucking uh, donations still. Zeruticos. Really hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Zeruticos. Thank you for sending $200. $5 will get you a message read and an alert pop up. But thank you so much. Uh, Zeruticos, thanks for $200. Says, I've been watching your VODs for many years, but never managed to catch a live stream. Well, welcome. You made it. You're here. We're having th that moment. This is, to me, this is what live streaming is all about and why I've never really bothered uh, 
uploading full broadcasts and, and things to uh, to YouTube. Other people do that. Uh, <laughs> um, thank you so much. It says uh, the message. The message continues. Um, so when I heard that you were going to be running Dark Souls 3, well, maybe, who knows? At this point, the way things are going right now, I'm, I'm never going to play a game this entire cast. Um, he says, so when I heard you're going to be running Dark Souls 3, I had to make a point of being there. This donation goes to the countless hours of free entertainment I've enjoyed. Now not free. What are you doing? You just paid for the free thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Saruticus. Insane. Insane support. J Mart's Light, thank you for the five dollars. Says no welcome to mankind makes me sad. It's okay, I'm a lurker, and you've been one of the best people ever. Keep up the good shit. I'll continue to lurk. This is donation night, apparently. I it's gotten to that point where uh it's just too much. It's too much. Uh and I have to cut corners in some way. It is It's your fault, not mine. <laughs> um, thank you all very, 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 very much. Um, Senior Benedict, welcome. Bernhardt Geiger, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to Mankind. Jimmy Tugboats, thanks for the five bucks. Says, man, hey, dude, I am chipping about 400. Uh, I'm chipping about 400 times less than Billionaire, but I still fucking love your channel. Consider this a payment for services rendered. Uh, it sure is fucking a donation. Exactly. Exactly. I am creating content. Everything you see around you right now is content. It is filling that hole in your heart that everybody's you're searching to just, you know, cram full of whatever they can find. Um, uh, Fade to Black, thanks for the 35 months. Phil Bot, 45 months. High chair with the 14. Thank you all. Is Rowan here? Rowan, I missed you again. Uh, she, she is. Rowan is still here. God, I look haggard. I really should have shaved. The thing is, when I when I shave, and it's all, it's like really, you know, when I have like a close shave, I don't like that either. This just looks like dirt on my face. Just pour some milk on that and have the cat lick it off. Anyway, Rowan. Rowan, lovely Rowan, whom uh, you all should be following out there. Uh, Rowan sent me an edible anus. Uh, and I, I don't use uh, autofocus because autofocus is always derping out. Anyway, it says uh, edible anus, uh, pure Belgian chocolate. Oh, yeah. That is definitely pure Belgian anus right there. So, um, so Rowan, ah, that's pungent. Uh, are you, I'm just trying to figure out like, is this one of those dealies where like, you know, they take a mold of like, is this like a personalized anus? Are we all going to get a chance to see Rowan's anus? That's all I'm really asking here. Can we see your anus? No. Um, without further ado, I'm going to open up the uh, the edible anus. And I guess I'm going to eat the edible anus. Uh, got my tool here. There you go. Alright. I'll uh, share the opening of the anus. Hold on. Let me, there's some text here. It says <laughs> here on the box. Have some directions. It says, uh, store in a cool, dry place. That's just a good rule of thumb for any anus, whether edible or not. Which really, yeah, when you think about it, all anuses are edible. If you're hungry enough, doesn't take much uh, pushing f for me. I eat ass! These guys. Talking about, I, I heard some, uh, some people discussing the other day uh, the, the topic of eating ass. What? Some guy was just like, well, I suppose if she, you know, had just come out of the shower and I was like, what? No, you either love eating ass or you just don't bother. Don't give me this half-assed ass eating. If she's got the shower. Oh my God. 
It's like, you're missing the whole point of eating ass. You eat the ass because it's delicious. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, back to the uh, edible anus. Uh, you got to look, look, if you're not going to eat the ass, someone else is. Martin knows all about ass eating. He's like, is that an edible ass you have? Is that an edible anus? Well, the edible anus is now Martin's. Here, do you want do you want an edible anus? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Martin, hold on. Yeah, get your slut hole out of here. Rant, rant, rant. <laughs> he's good. Yeah, he's like... Is somebody cracking open some fresh anus? Let me get in on that shit. Oh, yeah. This guy, this guy right here, he's like an anus connoisseur. Connoisseur. Been fishing around in the sewer for that anus. Uh, Just get out of here. You can't get enough of the anus. So... Here it is. Without further ado, what? Get out of here. What? I love you, son. This is Martin. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He gets bored. So, there you go. Anus! <laughs> it's a an anus extravaganza! Check it out. So, I missed it. Rowan, is this like, are these like molds of your personal anus that I'm about to sink my teeth into? <laughs> BB Pretend, welcome to Mankind. Thank you for that support. Edible anus. <sighs> Fucking cat hair. So, here it is. Oh my god. Look at that. It's like all the, all the races are covered. Because there's three races, right? There's there's white people, brown people, and black people. You, just, you fit into one of those three categories. So, Rowan. Oh my god. That, that anus smells delicious. They do look weird. They do look weird. They're like inverted anuses. There they are. So, yeah, I guess, so, it's, they're kind of, like, bent, but, uh, <laughs> you got a bent anus. Uh, all achievements unlocked, welcome back. Which one should I eat first? Which anus should I dig into first? Okay. Uh, that's pungent. I don't know. Should I go for the bleached anus first? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to see if I can turn on the autofocus just for this one <laughs> cast. Uh, properties. There we go. Uh, configure. Okay. Okay, for this one part, hopefully I have, uh, hopefully I have autofocus enabled. There it is. Oh, yeah. So, it's kind of like a slit. Really. See, and this is a discussion, this is, that was happening on Mrs. Violence's, uh, broadcast the other, uh, last night. Um, where, like, it, it was a question about, like, examining your own asshole, and I'm just like, no, I, just, I, I don't really need to know every, you know, inch of my asshole. Which, hopefully, it's it's not even an inch. Hopefully, it's not, like, you know, five inches of asshole. Um. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go for the, you know what, I'm gonna go right in the middle, I'm gonna go for the one that looks like milk chocolate. Because I don't even know how many more jokes I can make out of the, the, the anus. It is about to be devoured right now. 
trying to be careful here. I just so uh <sighs> Oh yeah <laughs> I'm gonna get back to the Dark Souls 3. Rowan, thank you so very much for hooking me up with not one, not two, but three edible chocolate uh pure Belgian chocolate anuses. So here's to you, Rowan. Um It's good. I mean, it's it's this is really good. In fact, this is uh, probably some of the best chocolate I've had in a while. So, uh, bottoms up. <laughs> oh shit! See, and that right there. That's why you don't use autofocus. I I recommend not using autofocus. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Seriously, this chocolate asshole is better than, dare I say, any of the Cadbury shit that, uh, uh, oh god, hold on. I keep thinking Lupanics now. It's not. It's, uh... Uh... Starts with an A. Someone help me out! Oh, God! I, my brain is just not working right now. It's... Drowning in chocolate asshole. Anubis! Thank you! Anubis. Um... That was a great... That was a great asshole. I mean, as far as assholes go, probably one of the tastiest assholes I've ever eaten. Uh, just want to make sure everyone knows that chocolate is lethally poisonous to cats in small doses. Who gives a fucking shit, pirate idealist? Just want to put it out there. Um, because you're just being kind of weird right now. Uh, Amory the Sixth, welcome to mankind. Thank you very much. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry, I... Um, hold on. Martin, come here. I'm going to give you some chocolate right now. I'm going to give you some chocolate. Just, just, just because of that. Come here, bro. Did you want some chocolate? Of course I'm not going to give Martin chocolate. Um, Armory 6, thank you very much for that support. Let's, let's, uh, <laughs> I want to save the other two uh, assholes. I don't want to, you know, I want to savor them. That was very, very good. Thank you, Rowan, so very much. Let's, let's, can we, can we get, get let's get Rowan some follows here. Twitch.tv slash Rowan. There we go. <laughs> Somebody is saying that they want the, the bleached asshole. Uh, no. I'm eating all the assholes. Uh. Damn. Okay. There you go. You should follow Rowan. Absolutely. Check her out. Um. Great caster here. <laughs> if for no other reason, because she sends people chocolate assholes. I mean, that tells you, you know. A lot about her character right there. Um, I, I should I should probably get back to you know the you know the game. Uh, but Rowan, thank you so very much. Thank you everybody. World's gone bye bye. Thanks for the five bucks. This is totally a private moment, but I can't seem to look away. Dear God, <laughs> dear God. Uh, perfect. The song is over. <laughs> Keep firing, assholes. I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the best asshole of the three. Deserve all the success. Thank you, Guto. It just... It, 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 public service announcement. Please do not feed your cats chocolate. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
turn off autofocus. Okay, sorry. So you can see my haggard uh, face. Absolutely. Thanks for the reminder. My waifu. My waifu. Configure the video. Turn the focus off. There you go. For the autofocus. Dark visions. Think of the two months. And sir? Sir, sir? Survivor? Survivor. Got it. Survivor, welcome to mankind. Thank you very much for that support. Man versus anus. A timeless struggle. Uh, man versus anus. Thanks for the five bucks. Asks, how you like that ass, baby? Fresh out the shower. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. The whole, I mean, you know, if once, you know, you're committing to eating ass... You, you just, you're not, you, I mean, sure, if there's like shit smeared everywhere, like maybe reconsider, but, uh, you know, to me it's just like, it's about getting dirty. It's about getting freaky. You're not going to be like, uh, well, have you showered lately? Like, no! You're going to be in the moment, you're going to be in the asshole! Anyway, let's play Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, the cap... Uh, happy anniversary. Thanks for the full, uh, year of support. I don't even know where I'm trying to go right now. Mm. Oh, the bridge. The bridge me. Make for the gap of Rohan! Mad Cribbage, welcome to mankind. We got Mad Cribbage. Abram, thanks for the five dollars. Says, Hungry? Why wait? Have an asshole. <laughs> T Breeze, shit particles everywhere. You know, there, there's shit particles everywhere, yes. Like on the money you handle, sh feces, coke, all kinds of shit all over the money. So it's just like, you know, just don't make a big deal. Just eat the ass. No, that's actually not uh, the attitude to have. It's like, if you, if you want. If your partner enjoys it, certainly don't don't force anything. Oh, here we are. Dagon has made it to the Cathedral of the Deep. I believe is this area. <clears throat> hey, Baxter, what's going on? Oh, so yeah, I've been playing this game all week. It is just. Such a thing of beauty. I honestly, I cannot wait for this game to be released properly the world over because it's, I, I, I don't know, man. <clears throat> Maybe I just, I go on the subreddit too often, but uh, who is this asshole? Okay, I've, I've officially, you know, used up my whole, you know, asshole quota for tonight. I can't say asshole anymore. Oh, you... Yeah. Oh! God! You shitbag. But I, I can't wait for this game to be released just worldwide. Everybody getting a chance to play it. I, I don't think I ever want to do this again. I just, I feel like I, I really did fuck up the Dark Souls 3 release for myself by, you know, obviously playing it offline by myself. I'm certainly, you know, I'm glad that I did because I had that moment. I had, you know, the, the experience of, of playing through the game myself, I was able to discover everything. Um, you know, a anything that I that I was, was spoiled, a a any spoilers that I experienced was was uh, you know my own doing. I spoiled shit for myself. Um, <coughs> but uh, it's just it's such a weird feeling right now. Like I know that there are people out there that just hate me because I am playing this game. You know, like, uh, you should have seen on the Dark Souls 3 subreddit the hate, absolute hatred that Swifter, one of the most beautiful human beings on Twitch, Swifter, the godfather of Twitch, I like to call him, because he's been doing this shit longer than any of us, myself included. Um, oh my god, he was getting straight up, like, hate because 
he had the gall to tweet Namco about possibly getting hooked up with a, a, a you know a review copy of, of Dark Souls three, and they did. Of course, they were happy to oblige since they had already given literally every streamer on Twitch a copy of the game anyway. It's actually a, a vast oversight that uh, Swifter didn't get a copy in the first place. But <laughs> anyway, this thread, they were just like hating on him. Like, they're like, what a piece of shit. Like, people, come on. So, I mean, I, I don't know. It's just, the whole experience for me has just been kind of like, blah. Anonymous! You sent $100! Holy shit! Uh, hold on. I shouldn't be running through this stuff. This shouldn't be a big deal here. Can you just kill the dogs, please? Kill them. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Drink up, Dagon. God damn it! Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, Anonymous, thank you for the hundred dollars! Says thanks, man. I've watched you since Demon's Souls. Hmm. So you wish you seek Demon Souls, do you? And you deserve every single viewer you have today. Keep being awesome and thanks for helping me through a ton of hard times. Thank you, Anonymous. Hundred dollars is a huge deal. You guys are just going ape shit on the support. And all I can say is thank you. Oh god. Yeah, these guys, they're like kamikaze guys. So, it, it, you guys want to talk about Batman versus Superman? I want to say, first of all, if we do talk about Batman versus Superman, ooh, Cathedral of the Deep. See, this feels so weird just not being in the game this much. But that's just where that's just the, this is what is happening. Um, Batman vs Superman. I wanted to say was not nearly as atrocious as my tweets might have made it out to be. <laughs> there were there were definitely good things about it. I mean, it, it feels so weird saying this, but like you know, as a, as a you know a comic book geek and. Uh, Lover of a lot of pop culture things. Uh, it's just, it's just great that you know a Batman versus Superman movie was even made. You know, like it's amazing that it that it's that it even exists at all. Um, not so amazing considering the you know the the current climate of superhero movies for till the end of days, but. Uh, Lex Luthor was terrible. Now, here's a weird thing. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor was horrible. Not only was he miscast. I'm sorry, but I just... Jesse Eisenberg is, like, the last actor on the face of the planet who I'd think of, you know, to, to, to play the role of Lex Luthor. But here is a weird thing that I believe is true. I'm not... I, see, I need, to, I need to watch the movie again. What is it? Now, wasn't he... He's n he's not actually Lex Luthor. But he's like... he He's apparently... He, he's Alexander Luthor? Or he's like... He's like Lex Luthor's son? Is this... I heard this from somewhere. Uh, I, I think on Kevin Smith's review. Um, which is great, by the way. If you, if you saw it, you should check out uh, Fat Man on Batman. That's uh, Kevin Smith's podcast about Batman. And uh, he has a great review. Yeah, so he so he's not even he's not even Lex Luthor, which is good. You know, in a strange way that it opens up future DC extended universe films to have you know an actual good Lex Luthor, but like. Why would they not have the Lex Luthor 
in this movie, Batman vs. Superman, I don't know, man. There's just so many weird decisions with the this movie. Such a mixed bag. Uh, the, the highlight of the whole movie for me was the ten minutes that Batman and Superman f actually, like, fight. Actually, like, go at it. You know, they, they have, like, maybe one other confrontation where there's not even any real fighting. Um... But, uh... Yeah, Lex is short for Alexander, but, like... But he's still Lex Luthor's son. Oh, god damn it. I forgot. I gotta get out of here. Um, the fight was amazing. The fight was... And that, that was, like, one of my main problems with it. It's called... For a film called Batman vs. Superman... That's, that's pretty much all they had to do, was just have the two of them fighting. And, uh... I couldn't believe how little actually fighting there was. Like, when, when that fight was over, I was like, No! I was like, I've been waiting, like, an hour and a half for this shit to go down, and then, you know, it goes on for, like, ten minutes. It felt really short to me. Really short, for how long... Uh... Oh, good, Esther Shard. Um, for how, for how much of a build-up it all had, it's like, I couldn't believe it was over! Oh man, there were just a lot of things in the movie where it was just like, why did they do that? The big one, there was a very, uh, can we, can we get, like, let, let's get, like, spoilery, spoiler, spoiler, I want to... I, this is just going to be a spoilery cast. So, spoiler warning. We're going to be spoiling the shit out of Batman vs. Superman and Dark Souls 3. So, if you're not down with any of that, just now is the time to get out of here. Um, can we talk about the ending of Batman vs. Superman? And how fucking ridiculous it was? And how unnecessary it was? And how... Warner Brothers just, like, shot their whole, like, fucking Superman load in, like, the second fucking movie. Let's talk about it. Let's just spoil Batman vs. Superman. It, Batman vs. Superman. So, as everyone knows already, uh, Doomsday shows up. Another unnecessary addition to the movie. Um, Doomsday shows up. And once, and so once I saw that Doomsday was in the movie, I was like, "Oh, I was like, they've got to be setting up some kind of confrontation that's going to happen in the next film, because there's already way too much shit going off, uh, going on in this this uh, particular movie." But no, Doomsday shows up. They have uh, another fight. You know, it's like the last twenty minutes of the movie, and uh, Superman dies. Fighting Doomsday, as he did in the comics back in the 90s. Um, why? Why did you do that? And, and what's so weird to me was that, like, and it's, this is a great point that uh, Kevin Smith made in his review. You know, he was just saying, you know, where's the moral in the story? And I and I totally understand that that. Not all movies, not all stories need a moral. But I think with superheroes and like superhero stories, they are absolutely like morality tales. Like, you know, th there's usually at some level there's uh there's some kind of like moral given, you know, like Spider-Man is basically like, uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, all that kind of shit, whatever. Um, and so, with Superman dying in the end, it's just like, well, what does that... What does it mean? It, with, like, all the... Because Batman vs. Superman absolutely tries to go deeper than your average superhero movie. Certainly, I think, deeper than, you know, uh... Or, um... Well, not really, though. I was gonna... I don't, I don't mean to, like, undercut Marvel or anything. Which, by the way, can I just throw this in there? 
I watched Deadpool today, and I fucking hate Deadpool, the character. I don't like Deadpool. I don't find him, uh, funny. I think he looks cool. But, uh... I, I saw Deadpool. Oh, it's my beer. Uh, oh god. Hold on! Yeah! Just give me two shakes. Drink up there, Johnny. One more pull. Call him Johnny Two Swigs. Ooh. Come on! This is a giant ice face, you motherfucker! What is going on? Oh shit. Anyway, Deadpool was thoroughly entertaining! And this is coming from a guy who despises the character. I don't like the, the random, like, you know, sense of humor, or, you know, that, that style. Um, but as I was watching Deadpool, I was just like, this is so good. It, it was written so well. Um, it, was, it was written so well, but the other thing that was just so admirable about Deadpool was how closely they stuck to uh, the source material. And what I'm really talking about when, I, when I'm saying this is I love that Ryan Reynolds was cool with completely covering his face, including his eyes. Everybody's, you know... One of the things that I was so excited about with Batman vs. Superman was how... Uh, finally, we we're we we're getting a chance to see Batman with like white eyes, even if they're like the light up eyes in his power armor or his uh, you know his his armor suit or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I was just like, look at that! Look how well it's working too. Like in Deadpool, has white eyes the entire movie. You know, of course they're they're CGI, but uh, you know, very expressive. Um, that was another thing about the fight in Batman vs. Superman. It was so annoying. Batman looked like such a boss with the, you know, the, the white eyes in, in, the, in the power armor and such. Almost immediately, Superman punches him in the face, and, and then you have this, like... I, it bothered the shit out of me, because all I kept thinking was, this is so forced. He, he, S Superman, like, punches, uh, you know, or whatever. Something happens. And, and uh, you know, there's, like, battle damage to Batman's face. And so then you can just clearly see, like, half of uh, Ben Affleck's face. And I'm just like, what? Come on! It's like, can, can, can an actor not be on screen for, like, you know, ten minutes? That's Which is how long the whole fight lasted. Without his whole... With, well, without his face being shown. And I don't... I don't necessarily think it, you know that that was, uh, you know, something Ben Affleck was was requesting or anything, but um, it was just cheesy. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed Deadpool. It was fun, irreverent, yeah. Especially, I mean, oh my god! After watching Batman vs Superman, it was like. It was like a breath of air after like swimming up from the the, the, the bottom of the ocean or so you know. It was like wow. Cause that ultimately see and I like that kind of like I usually like I liked Man of Steel. I'm one of the people who uh I liked Man of Steel. And it was a very like different sort of characterization of Superman and that was okay with me uh, I, I usually because I'm an emo fucking hipster piece of shit uh, <laughs> I tend to like you know self-important kind of uh, uh, overly sincere kind of uh, you know heavy you know shit like that and, um, so, like, Man of Steel worked for me. I liked, I liked the angle that they gave, you know, Superman being, like, an alien, you know, like a stranger in a strange land. He's just trying to fit in. He's, he, he want he's, he's not human, but he wants to be, in a way. Um. And, uh, but. 
Batman vs. Superman is like... Joyless is the word that comes to mind. Like, the... The, the, the fleeting few moments of, like, levity or humor are so few and far in between. Like, it's just, like, it's suffocating, almost, watching uh, Batman vs. Superman. What am I doing here? I really should try to just get on to uh, a bonfire or something. Large soul of an unknown traveler. Uh, have you tried watching the Flash TV show? I haven't, even though I helped promote it. <laughs> Yesterday I was rocking my Flash shirt. I currently am not reading any comics. I, I hate to say it, but I have fallen behind yet again on uh, my superheroes stories. Batman, oh, Raku909, welcome to Mankind. Thank you for that support. Join the glorious conversation that's happening right now. Um... But, uh, I haven't read a proper comic in too long. I need to get back to it. Um, but yeah, Batman, I'm out of, um... God, I'm just... I'm just gonna try and open up a shortcut here. Because I... Yeah. I've seen better days. Let's see here. How about Gal, Gal Gadot? I loved her as Wonder Woman. In fact, that's just one of the, the, the things to me that points out like how weak Batman vs. Superman was when, to me, the coolest parts in the movie were when Wonder Woman showed up, which is fine. I'm not being sexist or anything here, but uh, like, I was shocked at, at, you know, at how much I loved, oh god, Wonder Woman. Um, one of the things that that surprised me about Wonder Woman, or one of the things that surprised me about how much I liked about uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman was her accent. To me, the, I, a lot of people are saying that she was weak as an, as an actress. It's arguable. Uh, Gear Hugen? Gear Hugen? Uh, welcome, or Gear Jer Hugen. I'm sorry. Welcome to Mankind. Thank you for that support, though. Anyway, um, one of the things I loved about Wonder Woman was uh, her accent and how mysterious she was, as women are. Uh, <laughs> but there was something about her accent that made it so perfect because she's, you know, Wonder Woman is herself a foreigner. What is going on with my face? This is almost like, uh, like jazz singer levels of like uncomfortableness for me. I don't. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> what is my character doing here? He's like, Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my red Terrible. Al Jolson. Call me Huggin'. Okay, Huggin', you got it. Thank you for the support. Um, I have no balls right now because I have no... Well... Yeah! I have no life, so I gotta, I gotta go back. Fuck! Oh, it's working. Good. Um, too, so much to talk about. I've been away. I, I've been wanting to talk about this. Um, I liked Wonder Woman. I really liked Wonder Woman. Um, oh, the whole thing. I, the movie just did not pan out like how like I'd hoped. Um, oh my God, when they when they were like going through Lex Luthor's. Uh, you know his files, and he had like the the profiles set up for each hero uh, that w will eventually you know join the the, the Justice League. Um, what, what was my point? What was I, what was I talking about? Oh, I had flashbacks. Almost immediately, like when I saw that, when they were going through the computer and like showing, you know, the clips of each hero and stuff, it just, I was I immediately thought of uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two, and uh, how you could just see that they were just they were just rushing shit so fast, 
It's like, I don't care, you know? It's like, yes, we recognize the characters, but, I mean, just kind of flashing them up on the screen uh, for a little bit. It's like, I don't know. I honestly thought that those actors, uh, you know, Aquaman, Flash, the others, I, uh, I thought they were going to be on screen at least a little bit longer. But it was just weird. The Flash, that, that one scene, well, yeah, all the dreams. I don't know. A lot, so much stuff just, like, fell flat for me. Uh, who was the time traveling guy? Uh, that was that was f the Flash. Who? Yeah, he can he can time travel because he can go faster than light. Um, all right, I gotta just open up a shortcut here. They said to look at this as a trilogy, right? And I, you know, and I thought about that. Like when Superman died at the end, I was like, oh, okay, well, here's the you know the the low point. You know, this is, you know, this is, it's darkest before the dawn and all that shit. Which, by the way, why why have the Dawn of Justice, you know, subtitle when there was no justice dawning? Um, that was like my big joke. It's was like, oh, I can't wait to see the justice dawn. And, uh, that was the one thing that did not happen in the movie. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, my favorite line, okay, my favorite moment in the movie was um, when basically the ten minutes that Batman and Superman are actually beating the shit out of each other. Like, that, that part was... That's what everyone wanted to see. I still can't believe that that, that was like... That's all we got. That's it. It was like 10 minutes of them slugging it out. And it was under, like, the the motivations is another thing that was so weird. Like, so many of the characters, their motivations weren't really clearly uh, explained. I personally just thought it was kind of lame how, like, Superman was, like, kind of blackmailed. He was forced to, uh, to fight Batman because... Luther had kidnapped his mom, and it's just, like... I don't know, man. It was just... It just didn't work for me. Uh, where the fuck am I going? God damn it. I saw that deleted scene, by the way, which... I don't know why they deleted that. They should have just kept that in. I mean, fuck. It's not like it wasn't already like an overloaded uh, pinata of plot lines. It's like, fuck. Sure. Put Steppenwolf in there. Do it. Venom Striker. Thanks for the five dollars. Oh, hold on. Uh, Huggin. Thanks for the ten dollars. Says can't stop. Can't top that shit, man. Thanks for all the legit entertainment and fucked up shit. Uh, chill out, man. We all love you no matter what. Everyone on Twitch gets their up and downs. Ups and downs. Just keep real, man. By the way, is that uh, Might of Menethil? Might of Menethil. My weapon? I, not sure I follow you on that. Um, hold on. Oh, God! God. The, uh... Oh, the mace. Oh, no, this is, uh... The mace of, uh... Oh, God. Is it... Vort? Hold on. I'll show you in, in just a moment. Just a moment. Do I have a torch? Let's see if I can equip that. See, this is just gonna feel weird playing this, uh... I did not buy a torch. Damn it! Hold on. Uh, here it here it is. It's for its great hammer. 
See you later, Omniscient. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, the kidnapping thing. It just, I don't know. Do you think it hurts the idea of superhero versus superhero movies in the future? I don't even know, man. Like... Well, I mean, whatever damage that this movie might do to superhero versus superhero movies in the future, like, Civil War, I'm sure, will make up for just fine, because Civil War is probably going to be exactly what, you know, people wanted in uh, Batman vs. Superman. Oh, damn! See, but uh, there are a lot of people who, uh, you know, enjoyed Batman vs. Superman. So, you know, I don't know, for me, it just did not... I think... I kept thinking back to fucking Lex Luthor. I did not... It bothered me how, like, Batman was, like, an aging veteran. And yet, you know, the the villain, well, Luthor, was just like a, some young punk kid. Oh, God. Mother of crap. Are coming. Yeah. Just not good. He definitely, it's, it's been said before, but yeah, it definitely was like more Joker than uh, Luther. Oh god. Luther, I mean, see, this is a lot of my bitching. What it usually boils down to is like that I don't like when Hollywood tries to tweak the source material. It's like, the whole idea is, you know, to me, uh, you know, making uh, a movie based on this source material. It's like, why not be as uh, loyal to the source material as you possibly can? Like, that's the, that's the reason people wanted to see it made in the first place. Um, get the fuck out of here. Pieces of shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get out of there. Go go go! I don't even I don't even care to fight those guys right now. Some poop on the floor. Shit! Oh fuck! Oh my god! Just go away! Fucking beat your head in! Oh. Okay. Well, it's a wall. That would be the problem. Um, who do you want to direct a Dark Souls movie? Uh, they, they would. It would never be made like how it should be, which is basically like a silent film with like hardly any dialogue at all. Um. I don't get excited about Hollywood making films based on uh, a lot of things anymore. It's usually just like, oh, don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, <laughs> which, of course, that's like the pessimist in me as well. Um, but I think like it's been said before, the what a, a pessimist is just a, 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 a an optimist who's been disappointed one too many times. Um... And yeah, if they, making a Dark Souls movie, just, just... Don't do it! It's like when they try to make a fucking Doom movie. See how well that worked out. Uh, Billionaire with the $5! Thank you, Billionaire! With the $2,005? This is from my eyes only, by the way. Sorry, y'all. This is just me and Billionaire. Oh, damn it. Come here. Um. Oh, 
I don't actually know the answer to this question because it is a question that I never ever thought that I would be <laughs> answering. Um, give me a moment. I want to give you this information, and I will. I will say only the thing. Um. Shit, I might have to if uh, once I get a f shortcut opened up here. Um. I may... I have to uh, take a break and get this information. Please just know that... Y you're... Y you've already made my life... so... so wonderful. <laughs> With your unbelievable support... so far. Um... This is an interesting challenge to try and juggle answering this question while keeping it private. <laughs> Blade Runner, welcome to mankind! Gotta tell you, like I was just saying, I'm not excited about the Blade Runner sequel. To me, it's like, just make a movie that is clearly inspired by Blade Runner. It doesn't necessarily have to be set in the Blade Runner universe. Um, I don't like Ryan Gosling. There you go. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I love the original Blade Runner. But, I'm just not excited about a sequel. Um, I don't know. Let me just, getting back to Billionaire here. I, I don't know if there is one. Uh, once I, uh, get, get a shortcut opened up here. Let me take a break, and, and I will uh, attempt to get that information for you. Okay, that is definitely going to be... Oh, yeah. Big old giant down there. I think I've, I've just had a personal, like, thing against Ryan Gosling ever since I watched... Um, drive and was severely disappointed by it. Uh, Here we go. The shortcut we've been looking for all this time, sir. Um, You never saw Blade Runner. I, the only version I've seen was like a director's cut. There's apparently like five different versions of it around uh, out there but um, the only version I saw was like I think it's called the director's cut and where they there's no um, there's no voiceover from the the protagonist because I guess in the theatrical release he had a lot more uh, sort of like noir detective film type uh, you know dialogue that, that was cut out but uh, yeah the final cut maybe that's what it was yeah that's that's the one I watched then the, the one without the voiceover that's the one I saw that's the only one I've ever seen all right let's let's see if we can level up really quick real noob cannon thanks for the five bucks it says I love your casting because I, I feel like you are a broadcaster wait a minute I love your casting This one, I'm just going to read it as I as I see it. Because I'm not sure what you're saying. Okay. It says, I love your casting because I feeling you are a broadcaster. And do you think they killed Superman because Marvel might kill Captain America in Civil War? No. No. I think they killed Superman because, like Knives said, it's like the second part of a trilogy. And so they wanted to end at, like the lowest possible point they could and I think executives or whatever I think Warner Brothers also wanted to uh, they wanted to cram the death of Superman in the movie um, I don't think I don't think Marvel is going to kill Captain America in Civil War they may but uh, 
if they do, they, they've at least earned it, I guess. Like, uh, you know, you've had Captain America. Uh, he was in Avengers. Had Captain America 2. Um, uh, Winter Soldier, which was fucking amazing. And then, uh, you know, and then Civil War. So, like, he's at least... You know, Cap has had a good story, you know, plot arc, or, you know, a good story told so far. Um, Superman isn't dead, though. Yeah, he is. Yeah, the, the movie ended with, you know, the wink saying, like, don't worry, he's not actually dead, which is like, what is the point? It's like, of course they're going to bring him back. And again, that's what's so, I think, dumb about the decision to do that. It's like, they killed him. They're just gonna bring him right back in the in the next movie, and it's just gonna be like, okay, great. Superman died for like five minutes, and and I watched Angry Joe's reviews. He makes a great point. He's like, now, no, nothing. They they can't go anywhere after that with Superman. Like they can't have like a a a bigger, you know, uh, stronger, more menacing supervillain for him to fight where there's any tension or drama at all because it's like, well, who cares if he's already died and come back? It's like, they've already, like, spoiled that. And it's... stupid. Like, I can't believe they did that. You know what? I do need to take a break. I need to get another, uh, another cider here. And also, I'm just getting distracted. Welcome home, Ashen One. Thank you. Speak thine heart still. How much does it cost to level up these days? Uh, seven thousand. Okay, seven thousand. Um, how far into the game is this? Um, not very far at all. I can't even remember if I beat the, uh, I think I beat the, the Abyss Watchers. Farewell, Ashen One. Goodbye. Uh, them killing Superman was like the director's cut of Kingdom of Heaven, where they introduced characters to kill them. I still haven't read Kingdom of Heaven. Or, uh, or not, not Kingdom of Heaven, what am I thinking of? Kingdom Come! That's what I was thinking of. Okay. Let me see really quick if I can... level... do I... I do have some souls. I do have some souls. GLORIOUS SOULS! It's not going to be nearly enough. Shit. Alright. Let's take a break. Uh, we'll, we'll come back and uh, <laughs> we'll get back into Dark Souls 3. It's just so weird to me that, you know, I'm just playing Dark Souls 3 on autopilot. I apologize. It's just going to be the way it is uh, since I've been playing Dark Souls 3 all week long. Um, Alright, let's get some music going here for the break. Good old break music. Oh, 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 oh. Why do you do this? There we go. OBS Studio sometimes. Still weird. Um, alright. I'm gonna take a quick break. You know what? I think it's gonna be an ad-free, uh, cast tonight. No ads. Uh, and that is sponsored by, uh, Billionaire out there. I wanna thank Billionaire for basically, uh, making this an ad-free broadcast here tonight. Uh, thank you very much again. And I will I will double-check on that question, and I'll get you that information. So uh, I'll just say, please enjoy Home. The album title is Falling Into Place. The artist is Home. I'll link where this album is uh, available. I've been listening to this album ever since I discovered this artist and uh, love this guy. Anyway, I'll be right back with more Dark Souls 3 and more geeky uh, superhero comic book shit discussion. Oh my god, there's Billionaire stepping into the man cave right now! 
the man of the na- of the evening, billionaire. Thank you so much. I don't I don't know what what more I can say. Um, I will I will try and get you that information during the break. Uh, I'll be right back with more Dark Souls three.
Yeah, there we are. Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for just waiting around. Hope you enjoyed Home. That's the name of this artist. I think it's just one dude out of Florida. Florida! Uh, making uh, amazing beats. And I was able to get that information uh, to Billionaire. Uh, we had a, a private conversation during the break, so everything's taken care of there. Um, I think, I think we just we just need to get back to the Dark Souls three, which, strangely enough, is just it's like taking a. Well, that's definitely not the scene we were looking for. Just get in the goddamn corner. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Home is awesome. I was blown away by home. Whoa! Darkness, motherfuckers! All right, let's get in there. So we're in the, uh, the cathedral of the deep. Is that my? That is my drink. I got. I got a drink. Drinking some cider. Was that a DP move? That was a DP move. see here. <laughs> Thank you very much. What? Hold on. I got I'm copying this information just so I have access to it later. Um just got some wacky, wacky information dropped on me. Uh, Inferno Droid, welcome back. Oh, you don't want that going on. The Arctic Tiger, thank you for the 20 months. <coughs> Chalimur souls. Let's go. I I'm not really feeling the uh, Vort's Great Hammer right now. It's probably just because my other character is so much more powerful than this. So anything I use is gonna feel very weak. I think this is my my best option right now, so let's Can we can we upgrade it? Let's see if we can upgrade it. And uh I'm gonna see if I can just I'm gonna try and make as much progress as I possibly can. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Andre, can I trouble you for a Biggie size cock ring. J Rod, welcome back. Jenny MB, thank you for the five dollars and seventy cents. Says, hey man, just a little tip to say thanks. And I can smell you. <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts on Batfleck. Personally, he has surpassed Keaton as my favorite on-screen Batman. Gotta love that butt chin. You know what? He was a he was a fantastic Bruce Wayne. Uh, I think like the rest of the world, uh, the idea of a Batfleck Bat movie, like a solo Batman movie, which, by the way, is exactly what Batman vs. Superman should have been. You make your Man of Steel movie, then you make your Batman movie, then you make Batman vs. Superman, then you can have the Dawn of the Justice League after that. You gotta, you gotta just, you can't rush these things. Every time these studios try to rush these things, they, they just, you end up with shit like, well, Batman vs. Superman, and, like, Amazing Spider-Man 2. That's the other the other one that I just keep thinking about. Um, it just reminds me so much. It's like, you could just see how they couldn't help themselves from mashing, like, way too much shit into the movie. Uh, oh, two tight night scales. That's not happening. Okay. Thank you. Better than Keaton. I think but I think he was great. There were there were a few moments that were decidedly like pretty un Batman like. Strangely, I think one of the main ones was uh when Batman asks Superman Tell me Do you bleed? You will. It's like What? It's like he I don't know. It seemed it seemed unnecessary. Like they, they didn't seem very Batman-like to me. 
Um, but then again, I don't know. Batman can be... He can definitely get shitty with people. But yeah, he was great. I thought he was great. Oh my god, my homeboy is Stewie! Think of the $10, he says... You're my Superman. <laughs> yes, that was a really bad Stewie. Let's let's get to the cleansing chapel. Batman's a murderer now. You know, hold on. Oh, excessive profanity with the big host from down under. Oh, my best cunt. Thank you very much, excessive profanity, for that uh, support. Uh, Twitch.tv slash excessive profanity. Uh, highly recommend checking out this guy. He's actually better at this shit than I am. It's, it, you know, it takes a big man to admit when he's been, uh, bested. And, uh, I, I, you know, whatever, I, I would bequeath my, my casting crown. That I've earned from no n nobody. Um, to Cody, to cut Cody. Uh, Swiss Diablo. Uh, welcome back. But I thought Ben Affleck. You know, I will say this: even even better than Ben Affleck as Batman was Jeremy Irons as uh, Alfred. I loved Jeremy Irons Alfred. Loved Jeremy Irons Alfred because he he were he seemed like the kind of butler that that Alfred would have to be, which is just like he's got many many different hats, doing you know upkeep on the the armor and you know flying planes when when Batman can't do it. Like he's definitely like Penny One is. He's a major player in the in the fight against crime in Gotham, and uh, I really felt that from Jeremy Irons. There we go. Nice, beautiful. Oh, the, th the thing about Batman killing this movie, um, it Batman, uh, <laughs> I d it didn't annoy me as much as I thought it would, because I did. I heard about you know Batman killing. Before I saw it, God damn it! I'm just getting turned around now. Um, it didn't annoy me as much as I thought it would. If you go back and watch, pretty much like any Batman movie, you're gonna see scenes of of, of Batman doing everything but directly killing, uh, you know, thugs. It's like maybe, well, I mean, fuck. Let's just go all the way all the way back to Tim Burton's Batman. Oh shit. Uh, hi there, big guy. Oh! Yeah. Okay, let's just go for it. Let's just run. Run away! Um, Tim Burton's Batman. Re remember the scene in the cathedral? Ah! When he's chasing Joker up to the top. Joker's got Vicky Vale. Oh, God. Drink! I gotta get out of here. Hold on, let me grab this thing. Lloyd's sword ring. Christopher Lloyd's soul ring. Marty! Gotta get the sword! Shit! Oh god, drink up. This is not good. I did not see that coming. Uh, the cathedral scene. Tim Burton's Batman. And remember, uh... Oh! Fuck! Well, I better take a drink. Even though that's, that wasn't established at all. Remember, he's fighting the black guy at the top of the cathedral, and he like he like grabs his head with his legs and like bashes his head against the bell, then throws him over the edge to go sailing down. You know, unless that guy was able to grab onto some ledge, he definitely fell to his death uh, at the hands of Batman directly. Uh, but there's all kinds of scenes like that where, you know, Batman's throwing people out of, uh, out of cars. Man movement makes me crazy. Mrs. Violence. <laughs> I actually love, I love, I love it. I love how serious Mrs. Violence takes gaming. She's very competitive. 
This is why it just. Mm, to this, I will never ever get tired of remembering back on my glorious uh, victory in our race uh, to see who could defeat uh, the orphan of cause on NG plus six. Look, see, I'm she, I'm getting to her right there. Blood level, blood level four run. I'm gonna do it. I love how I had to actually goad you into getting back to your blood level four run, and you succeeded because I believed in you the whole time. <laughs> You're not doing shit. Okay. Fine. God! Stop distracting me, Kelly! Dear, honey, sweetheart! Uh. Oh! This is one thing about Dark Souls 3. You hear that? Kind of annoys me that they use that sound tr uh, that sound effect for th for th these guys. That is not the sound that, that hollowed sorcerer bitches make when they die. That is the sound that black knights make when they die, or silver knights, or you know. Let's try it on Dark Souls Three. <laughs> I have already got such a leg up on on that race. I'm ready. I'm ready for that. I'm wandering around on NG plus two on my, my PC character. So, suck on them titties. Okay. That was unnecessary. Hold on. Gotta just grab my souls. Hurry! Souls retrieved. Uh, let's see, said note. Can I say that what I like about Dark Souls is that it really doesn't hide the fact that it's a video game. I've said that before. I said that it's like it's a it's like a it's so video gamey. It really is. It's like like yeah. I I know what you're saying. Like they, it's it's not a game trying to dress itself up as like you know a, a cinematic experience. It's just everything is designed exquisitely. Uh, most importantly, the, the the level design of this game is any disappointment that pe that uh, that people might have had with Dark Souls Two, with oh my God, hi there, <laughs> hold on, whoa, oh, this is not good, I'm fucked. Oh, okay, better take a drink. We're gonna get those souls back. KSMM. Okay, I wish I was sucking on some titties too. I mean, I love casting, I love gaming, but uh. If I had the choice. Fallen Shepherd, welcome to mankind! Thank you very much for the support. <laughs> Brasts or basts? <laughs> uh. I'm gonna say this. I've been thinking a lot because I know I know y'all love the, the the comparing and the contrasting between shit. Um. Uh, I will. <clears throat> I think as much as I have been absolutely adoring playing through and experiencing Dark Souls Three, it is it is such an amazing game. It is such an amazing game. I think Bloodborne is still from software's best work. I think I still I've become like a Bloodborne fanboy. Yeah, I love them all, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I still think I think the ideas and the the lore and the setting and the combat of Bloodborne is still it's just such a brilliant package. It's just, it all fits, it's just this brilliant interlocking 
uh, like puzzle box designed by like you know some genius artisan uh, that is from software like Dark Souls 3 is the same thing Dark Souls 3 is the same fucking thing it, it's like it's just mind blowing how beautiful these games are how beautiful everything looks the boss fights are how many times am I gonna fucking run up here mmm Bloodborne is just so good. It, the setting is, is is it won me over. It won me over completely. Treachery is afoot in the man cave. Welcome. Thank you for that support. Oh god. Here, let's just kill the fucking thing. Bloodborne annoys you. How does Bloodborne annoy you? I'm just I'm curious. I'm trying so hard not to be so reactionary cuz I am certainly that. <laughs> Get that knee jerk reaction. More jerk than knee. J -j jerk! Joey girl! How are you doing? I finally. Okay, I got a new phone a while back. I finally realized that you are the person who sent a text to me a while ago that originally showed up just as a phone number because I lost all my phone numbers. I hope you're doing well. Everyone should follow Joey Girl. Joey Girl is uh, a personal, like, IRL friend of mine. Oh god, where are my souls? There they are. Alright, let's take out this uh, evangelist. This Neon Genesis evangelist. You're back in the Montaki! I hope you were able to figure out a situation for the Angimals, because unfortunately, with my stupid uh, kitty kid over here, I I couldn't I couldn't take on any more. <laughs> here we go. Oh, you get a spanking! Charge at! Plow! God, I really, really. My other. Okay, I gotta admit to something. I'm gay. No, I did. Uh, I'm not gay for sure. I, I need to admit. God, you're having a bomb. On my other playthrough, there is a weapon in Dark Souls Three that you will recognize. They're bordered. Okay, okay. I just, I didn't know what to say. Didn't know what to do. Um, it works for now. Okay. Anyway, yes. Everybody check out Joy Girl. She's just a sweetheart and she's awesome. Uh This weapon that I found in my other playthrough, it's not even hard to find. They just they basically just give you it. And it's really overpowered. And I've basically just been You know, cutting through Dark Souls Three like like a hot knife through butter with it because it's for the build, especially that, you know that I was going for. Uh, it's just it's stupid. I can't. It's like I can't use any other weapon. Sometimes I'll switch to another weapon because I get tired of using the weapon I'm using. But then I just always go back to that other original weapon because it's just too fucking powerful. Okay. I really don't want to lose these souls. I really don't want to lose these souls. So let's, let's let's try and concentrate here. I should have taken a drink there. Is it OP like the uh, Drake sword? Um. Well, I'm trying. I'm specifically trying not to mention or you know say what weapon it is because I will be obtaining the weapon on this playthrough. Uh, are we talking about weapon names? It's really not. You know, I I'm not worried about spoilers. So you know what? I'm gonna stop being coy. Um, I. You back? The weapon I'm talking about. Spoiler alert is the Fume Knight Greatsword. It's in this game. And 
it's an S uh, scaling strength greatsword. And, you know, when I had it, like, maxed out, it was basically... It's just, it's doing so much more damage than any other weapon in my in my whole uh, my repertoire. Uh, Autumn cold. Welcome to mankind. Come on, get this silly bitch out of here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're gonna yeah, you're gonna be laughing. Hi. Ha <laughs> ha. We are having a good time. Just beating the ever-loving hell out of each other. <laughs> Who's laughing now? I do love those enemies because they give me such strong demon souls. Clowny clown feels. Clowny clown clown. Um... I was about to talk about your fight with the Fume Knight. Oh! Yeah, no, that was, uh... They essentially just... Well, I mean, I guess the path I took, but, yeah. They just give it right to you. Okay. We got the souls back. Feeling the flow. We are in the Cathedral of the Deep. God! Lock on to... <laughs> I can't even lock onto him. Wow. I did finish my personal playthrough. I did. I. There are still yet achievements for, for me to get, but. Basically, I'm going to be working on 100%ing the PC release of the game on my playthrough of the game with the proper English release of the game. It's. it's it's just been weird. I take I just want to say this. I take no joy in like playing games early. You know, I uh I I really would love to have seen like a global release, but you know, the difficulty with that is Namco publishes the game uh everywhere but Japan. In Japan, From Software self publishes these games, which still blows my mind. Um, come on, give him a spanking! Good enough for a poke, huh? Get in there. Oh! Man waifu! Milady? Is that you? Supporting us? I love the Cathedral Knights, by the way. Um, it's probably one of my favorite sets uh, of armor in the game now. I like everything heavy. Heavy weapons, heavy armor, heavy damage, heavy metal! Get over here! Shit bird! Good enough for Poga! What was Rowan taking off? Rowan! Thank you so much for letting me eat your uh, assholes tonight. They went down smooth. <laughs> uh, just talking, of course, about these. Uh, Edible anuses. It really, I mean, it, it should have said edible anuses, but uh, it's it's. See, I actually only had one, but here you have, you have like the white chocolate bleached asshole, and then the really you know super dark chocolate asshole. That's just gonna. Mm, yummy. Uh, Rowan, your your assholes were delicious. Have a wonderful night. Everybody give Rowan a follow. Check her out. Uh, ask her, you know. Soap with the chocolate anus. Alright. Uh, don't the Cathedral Knight armor set look different to the ones the NPCs use? Um, yeah, in a way. I mean, your character is always a little bit smaller than the enemies you fight. Um... Thank you so much, man's waifu. Oh my god. You weren't supposed to drop down yet, you shit. You fucker! Break, you idiot! Oh god. Wow, he's doing curse damage. Or he's he's giving me the curse. He's cursing me out. 
What the fart? Please don't. You know what? Let's just grab this just in case things don't go so well. Hell. Wow, look at that cursed cloud of it. One more! No. What? Get the fuck off me, bitch! Come on! Okay, got him. Need him, need him, got him. I'm turning up the game volume a little bit here. Um. The Keef Thief! Thanks for the five bucks! Uh, tried watching other people stream Dark Souls, just not the same. You deserve more. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm doing a disservice to Dark Souls 3, honestly. I'm not digging into the, the lore and, and everything, and, you know, we've been talking about other shit, and, but that's just kind of the way it has to be, unfortunately, this time around. Th th this is like a... My proper Dark Souls 3 cast that I'm looking forward to now is the, the stream... That will be, uh, you know, for the the English release, April twelfth. Um, boost attacks on HP is full. Lloyd's sword ring uh, recovers focus points from critical attacks. That's basically your magic bar. Um, shit, I got an empty slot. Put it in there. There we go. Like that's <laughs> might as well just be empty at this point. Am I going to go full lore with the PC release? Yes. Yes. I, I really am. Because uh, that's that's the best version. Let's just... I mean, the day Namco announced that uh, the PC version of Dark Souls 3 runs at a native 60 frames per second on PC, it's like, that's it. That's that's the platform you want to play on, if, if you can. I mean... I'm glad that I own an Xbox One now. So that I can throw down with Mrs. Violence at some good old, uh... Oh! Dark Spirit Longfinger Kirk! We all know which finger that is. Come here, Captain Kirk. I said give me the brandy! Hold on. What? Oh! Hit a drum and get wicked! I deserve that, actually. For referencing... Was that Public Enemy? You're not allowed to reference Public Enemy when you're this white. Are we gonna co-op Gears? No, I'm gonna beat your ass in Gears of War. I'm not gonna co-op with you on anything. Married couples do not cooperate, okay? You're you're an old battle axe, okay? That's that's why that's, that's why men refer to their their wives as battle axes. It's about it's about confrontation. That's how that's that's how, that's how couples stay together. They 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 learn they learn how to fight it out, and work out their differences that way. I'll beat you with my fucking eyes closed. Yeah. It's kind of sad. It's so true. We would have to co-op, and you would just basically carry me the whole way. It would. It's so sad, but yes. The old ball and chain! The old battle axe! Okay. Uh... What'd I miss? Oh, CRPD Ninja, welcome to mankind! Son of a bitch, well, goodbye. Welcome back. Whatever the fuck that was. That really, really fucking blows. Welcome back. For the, the for those of you not in the know, Cody, Kill You, and X10 Dead TV are the same person. You should totally uh, follow Cody Kill You. The Kerf Thurf, thanks for the five, another five bucks. Says Uber ended up being free and I didn't pay for drinks. 
Have some money! Have more money! Thank you very much. AFK. By the way, I know it seems like all I do is just promote um, really attractive girls uh, who stream here on Twitch these days, and that's because that's exactly all I do anymore. Uh, <laughs> what I'm getting around to saying is AFK is a delight. <laughs> Give AFK a follow. Um, she has a wonderful broadcast going on uh, over on her channel. And, uh... Exactly. No shame in man's game. What the fuck? What am I gonna... I'm pretend like that's not all I do? That's, that's... I'd like to think that's my one saving grace, is that for all my character flaws and, and inconsistencies and hypocrisies, that I'm at least self-aware. I'm at least aware of all the shit. Uh... For, for whatever that's worth. Which is dog shit. It's worth a pile of more dog shit. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I don't know where the Macho Man came out. Uh, I think it's when I felt my, my... Like, my lips tightening up like a... Well, like an anus. Ooh, yeah! That's the secret to a good Macho Man. Just, you gotta tense up everybody. Or every uh, muscle in your body. Every body in your muscle. Every body, rock your body. Here you go, just get behind him. Get behind him. Get me behind me, Satan! Reeves Pongs, welcome back! Thanks for that support. And yes, other people will vouch for me. They will, they will tell you, AFK is awesome. She's not so uh, hard on the eyes either. I'm just, this is just not for nothing. I'm just throwing that out there. God damn it. I am a skeleton. Welcome back. And also, uh, who is that? The Beef Chief. <laughs> Thanks for another $5. Says, love babes. Have more. <laughs> love babes. Is it some kind of strange admission? You're a fucking petter ass dude. Eight year old dude. Hold on. It's gonna explode. We're gonna explode. Jesus Christ on a fucking rubber crunch! This is pissing me off. <laughs>